हे गाइज वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो टूडे वी आर सॉल्विंग अनादर प्रॉब्लम इन फेब लीड खोड चैलेंज प्रॉब्लम इज काउंट नंबर ऑफ बैड पेयर्स सो गाइज इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन एन इंटीजर एरे एंड अ पेयर ऑफ इंडेसिस आई कॉमा जे इज अ बैड पेयर इफ आई लेस देन जे एंड जे माइनस आई इज नॉट इक्वल टू नम्स ऑफ जे माइनस नम्स ऑफ आई रिटर्न द टोटल नंबर ऑफ बैड पेयर्स सो वी हैव टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी बैड पेयर्स आर देयर Uh, so if this is uh, which array which is given to us here five is the number of bad pairs so this is the condition for finding out whether a pair is bad or not okay and if you see constraints right so according to constraints length of the nums array will can go till 10 raised to power 5 so we cannot uh, use n square time complexity here because it will give time uh, tle right so we have to do better and we have to do it in o of n most probably okay so let's see how we can approach this problem let's first understand quickly like what they are asking us in the problem okay so see guys they are saying that we have to find number of bad pairs we have to find number of bad pairs now what is bad pair bad pair is Like let's say, uh, nums of j, comma nums of i. Okay, nums of j, comma nums of i is a bad pair if j minus i is not equal to nums of j minus nums of i. Okay, all right. So basically, what there this is condition for bad pair so if you find all the pairs in this array right you will see that there are five bad pairs i won't be calculating all the pairs i i am hoping that you know like this is a pair this is a pair this is a pair like this this and all that so you can find out that and we will now see how we can so basic see basic brute force approach is very simple that we can find all the pairs and then we can just check this condition and take a counter uh and whenever like any pair satisfies this condition we increase this counter right like that but finding all the pairs right will be a nested loop like for loop there will be nesting of loop and it will be o of n square time complexity which will give you time limit exceeded after all okay because 10 raised to power 5 uh is the number of elements which can be there and 10 raised to power 5 into 10 raised to power 5 will be 10 raised to power 10 which will give you tle okay so we cannot use o of uh, n square approach we have to do it in o of n okay let's see how we can do it so guys if you see right what's the condition given to us condition which is given to us is j minus i not equal to nums of j minus nums of i this is condition for a pair to be bad right this is a condition for a pair to be bad now guys see what if instead of finding out the bad pairs i find out good pairs i find out good pairs and whatever is the total number of pairs i will subtract good pairs from them and that will give me what will give me bad pairs right so this is what i will be doing i will be finding out good pairs i will subtract it from the total pairs so that i can get the bad pairs now what will be the condition for a good pair if this is a condition for a bad pair condition for a good pair, uh, pair will be what simple right it will be j minus i should be equal to nums of j minus nums of i so this is will be the condition for a pair to be good now if i uh, just organize it a bit so it will be something like j minus nums of j equal to i minus nums of i right right so this is my final condition which i will be using in this problem 
that is if you see this is the position j is the position minus this is this is the value that is at every index if the position minus value is equal to another index's position minus value that means that those two numbers make a good pair for example let me give you an example here if you just let me do indexing 0 1 2 3 if you take this one let's say this is your i and this is your j like this is your j and this is your i so here position is what index is 1 minus value is 1 is equal to here what index is 3 and what value is 3 so it is 0 is equal to 0 that is this this and this make a good pair right so this is a good pair so what is the condition for a good pair that the position minus value will be equal to another index's position minus value now let's use this condition to i know it's a bit complicated problem to be honest i also took a lot of time to get to the approach and then solve it but yeah this is a good learning problem so just stay tuned till the end let me uh, see the test case so it's three three okay all right so let me here if you see right we will do indexing and we will start uh, like let's start the approach how we will approach it so at every index right and like let's say i'm at this index i will see that whether earlier there was any pair with same position minus value difference here position minus value 0 minus value is 4 so it's minus 4 is there any uh, previous pair where i got the same difference if yes then that that pair and this makes a good pair right now how will i keep a track of the previous position minus values right i will keep a hash map for that i will take a hash map so let me take a hash map right in this as i proceed right i will be keeping track of uh, the position minus value difference and like what are the number of good pairs with that count okay so like this is position minus value will be the key and good pairs how many good pairs are of this value will be the value okay of this hash map just keep a note of this just okay so let's start now here what we will do is we will start iterating so we will first of all find out the difference so what is the difference difference is position minus value so position is what 0 minus value is 4 so it will be minus 4 we see that in the hash map we do not have any uh, key with minus 4 so there were no earlier good pairs with this value so this will be the first entry we will add it and we will add its count to be 1 initially because there is just one this value we found and bad pair what will be the bad pair bad pair will be now bad pairs or what bad pairs are total pairs minus the good pairs right so good pairs for minus 4 there were no good pairs so good pairs are 0 and uh, and total pairs is what like this current there are like this is just the current one va uh, one value right the, it's like there are no pairs earlier so total pairs are also 0 so this bad pairs will currently bad pairs will be 0 just stay tuned you will understand don't worry okay let's move further as we move proceed further right you will understand okay now we go to this first index what is position position is 1 minus value is what 1 so you get difference as 0 okay you see in the hash map there is no good pairs with this difference so uh, we total will be what bad pairs will be what total total is now see you are here right so this position gives you the total pairs which can be formed with this value so 
when you are at he here right you can just make one pair so the index gives you the total pairs so one minus good pairs is what zero there was nothing in hash map right so you get one so bad pair is one right now current count for bad pair is one okay and you will add this zero now because and it's count as one because you have found this zero uh, zero difference and this could be a potential good pair in future okay uh, zero one now let's move further so we go uh, sorry we go to this index we see the difference is position minus value so what is position 2 minus value is 3 which is minus 1 so is there mi minus 1 in the hash map no that means there were no earlier uh, there was no earlier pair with this difference so what will be the bad pair count it will be total total is total pairs with this how many total pairs can be made this one this pair and this pair that is two pairs so two minus good pairs is zero there was there is no here no pair here so two will be the number of bad pairs so total bad pairs will be earlier it was one so one plus one uh, one plus two will be one plus two will be three so this is the total bad pairs currently okay now let's move further now we go here we go here okay let me just change the color so you get here so what is the difference now see guys this is very important case difference is position minus value position is what 3 minus value is what 3 it becomes 0 so difference becomes 0 okay now see there was earlier a pair with same difference that means that pair and this pair can make a potential good pair so what will be the good pair count will be 1 1 will be good pair now what will be the bad pairs total with this uh, this in, in this position with this element how many pairs can be made one pair two pair three pair that is the index so three minus good pairs are one so it becomes two will be the bad pairs w what those two bad pairs are one bad pair is this three with this four and uh, one this three with this three okay so now to total bad pairs become three plus two which is five so when you have iterated the entire index and your total bad pairs came out to be five okay so if you see here total bad pair comes out to be five so guys i hope you understood the logic behind this i would highly recommend once you to dry run the code so that you better understand approach it's a bit tricky problem i totally understand but yeah it's a very good learning so let me quickly show you uh, the code So see, we have taken a hash map to store the count. Okay, we go to each index, we find out the difference. Then we get the good pairs which can, from the map, find out the bad pairs, and then we put the good pair. Uh, we we put the difference which we got uh, in the map, and we return the bad pairs. So time complexity for this is con uh, is O of n. Okay, because we are going to each index once. Okay, it's O of n is the time complexity. And space complexity is O of n again because we are using a hash map. Okay, so guys, I hope you understood this problem. I know it's a tricky problem, but uh, if you have any doubts, let me know in the comments. If you found the video helpful, please like it, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.